post dinner time, I'm with our baby Kyron. And since he started eating, we have to start being creative with the food that we make for him. We've only given him avocado. So today we're gonna to try sweet potato. We also do not have grandma and grandpa in the house right now to help with us, so this is life. Rachel is making the food. Zeze is being Zeze. This is what Rachel is doing right now. Is the sweet potato in there? No, not yet. I'm just boiling in the water. Oh, okay. I just clean the sweet potato. I'm gonna peel it. I'm gonna cut it into slices. We're gonna steam it and mash it all up. Oh, have you already put it in? Mm -hmm. Let's see that. Ooh, it's all nicely laid out. Actually, um, this is not the right way to steam it. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, this is a little mommy fail right here. I forgot. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's the, this is the Asian way. You gotta put a little plate in there, and then you can put it in. Okay, I won't be able to steam all of it, but that's okay. He's not gonna be able to eat all this. I mean, you can just put it on top of one another, it's fine. Oh, really? It's okay, stuck? Yeah, 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 that's totally fine. It's hot. Sorry, I was not thinking about that at all. We mm -hmm. haven't made baby food like this since Zayden was little. Mm -hmm. So, very much out of practice. Hey, Zayze, do you like sweet potato? Mm -hmm. What is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you like it? Okay, okay. He gets a little camera shy these days. Getting, he's growing so big now. Zayze, do you get camera shy? Yes. Why are you so shy? I see. Is it ready? It's ready. Cool. This is Daddy. Oh, hi. Whoa. Daddy. <laughs> Someone's happy because Mimi and Grandpa is back. Mm-hmm. We don't need to make a whole lot. Oh, it's so. See, look at that. It's like falling apart. So I'll save that for another meal. Let's smash up some of this. I'm adding a little bit of milk. It has a familiar taste inside of it too. And that is breast milk, right? It is breast milk, yeah. I think we're ready. He's hungry. Do you like it, buddy? <coughs> is it hot mm -hmm. still? No, it's hot. He's just deciding whether or not he likes it or not. <laughs> Do you like it? First time eating sweet potato. You want more? <laughs> you can have more. You can have the last two. You're a growing child. This boy ate a whole full <laughs> meal earlier and still wants potato now. Here you go. This is the last two. It's a little bit hot, okay? So blow first. Someone did really good with eating today. He loved it. He still got a little bit left, but he ate a lot. Mm -hmm. Look at this guy. This messy guy is ready for a shower right now. He is. And by shower, I mean a bath. What are you saying, Zizi? I'm going to bring these two toys. For what? What's that for? Baby Kyron. Oh, for baby Kyron? Yes. Okay. That's fine. Oh, are you putting it there for him? Yeah. You're such a good brother. And, 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 and this toy shows baby Kyron. Baby's here, ready to go. Hi, Nikki baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> He's like sitting like chilling like a villain. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm tossing water. Why are those so hot? Why are those so hot? Look at that rolls, yo. So many rolls. So many rolls, baby. This kid is well fed. Why are those so hot? <laughs> baby Kyron's already in all showered. Oh my gosh, look at this. What's this? A cow? No, it's like a little giraffe. A little giraffe. I put the heater on so it's nice and toasty in here. Yeah, in America we gotta have heater running the whole night so that the boys can sleep well. What are you doing? I'm giving him a nice little massage. Oh. I can I have that kind of massage? You wish. <laughs> Alright, so here's the deal. In an interracial relationship, we face so many differences. When I got married to Rachel, you know, we work through a lot of different things and we come to a conclusion or we come to a middle ground where we accept a lot of things. And then we became parents. And then there's a whole set of new things that we have faced that are different because we were brought up in two very, very different households, right? And this is the one thing that I feel like I personally think it's the most challenging being in an interracial relationship, being an interracial parent. 
and it's in the realm of our kids sleeping. So for Asian parenting, it's pretty straightforward. The kids co-sleep with the parents, and what that means is when you're a baby, as soon as you're born, you are sleeping very close to the parents. Usually it's like the side of the crib or something, and then you transition into sleeping with the bed of the parents, right? That's co-sleeping, and that's what we've always done. In. <laughs> I'm gonna go give him to his grandparents so we can actually chat. Be right back. All right, so Rachel handed the baby off to grandparents. We are so blessed that they're around. But as I was saying, that's how we do Asian parenting. They sleep with us until a certain age. We transition all, them off into their own room. In an American household, though, they torture the baby. We do not torture our children. However, in American households, typically, this is how I was raised and how I was telling Logan she wanted to raise our sons, is that the kids sleep after they're a few months old, they stay in our room until then, and then you transition them to their own room, and you sleep train them to be able to sleep by themselves in their crib alone. And one thing that was really hard coming from a different culture was that part of that process is letting the child cry so that they learn how to put themselves to sleep. And there's some different methods of how to do sleep training, but the overall concept is you have to let the child figure out how to fall asleep by themselves without being fed to sleep, rocked to sleep, sung to sleep. They have to learn how to put themselves to sleep so that they can stay asleep the whole night long. And that was actually a really big issue for us with Zayden, when Zayden was a baby, because we are first time parents, we had no clue what we were doing, Lobush is used to the Asian way of raising, which is just keep the baby with you the whole time. I was used to the American way of raising, which is once the baby's a little bit older, put them in their own room and they learn how to sleep through the night. Which is challenging because for the first several weeks, depending on how fast the baby is sleep trained, you are listening as parents, you're listening them to scream and cry themselves to sleep. And that's the way that they apparently fall asleep. We're gonna show it to you today. So, so bear with us, this might be hard. We don't know what's gonna happen. You know, it's an up and down. Sometimes he does great with it and sometimes it's like, he's having a rough night which he is training himself to sleep. So we're gonna show you. And he's still not perfect. So most babies start, you start mm -hmm. sleeping train, sleep training them around six months old, which is how old Kyron is. Yes. So he is still very much learning. So this is the perfect time for us to show you, right? Mm -hmm. like this is the whole process of sleep training. It's up and down, sometimes he does well, but let's see how he does today. And a big part of things too, is that you wanna stay consistent. You wanna keep the routine consistent. So we have our meal time, we have our bath time, we put on our pajamas, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go nurse him. Afterwards, I sing him a song and I put him down and I leave and I still follow the same routine every single night for him. Let's go do it. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the process. Right now it's time for him to nurse. So he's gonna drink some milk before the next part of bedtime. Right, give you some privacy. Say bye daddy. Bye baby. Is he done nursing? He's done nursing. You had lots of susu? Are you done nursing, buddy? He's so tired. Yeah, I can see that. Daddy gonna give you a kiss, okay? I love you. <laughs> so now what I do is I turn on white noise for the boys so that if one of them whines or cries, they don't really hear the other one so well. Mm -hmm. It's not perfect, but it helps. So there's one white noise machine here next to Zay's bed. And by white noise machine, she means our old handphone. Our old, I, yeah, old iPhone. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn on all the lights. So it's a little noisy right now because of the white noise, but now I put him inside his sleep sack, which is like a little wearable blanket. It's not safe for babies to uh, have loose blankets in their crib. So there are these awesome little sleep sacks that I zip them into. If you guys see, he's got a little camera here so I can see him sleeping here. And then Zayden's got a camera there so I can see Zayden in his crib. So we can monitor the boys at all times. And then what I do is I cuddle him. And usually I turn off the light for this part. We can turn up the light. Okay. 
Okay. We've got one more light to turn off. I sing him his good night song. Good night, my pirate. Good night, my love. Sweet dreams be yours, dear. Sweet dreams to you. I wish I knew, and I wish I might so. Good night, my pirate. Good night. Good night, my love. I love you. Okay, now what do we do? Okay, so I get the monitor and I turn it. So I adjust it so I can see where he's at. So he flipped over onto his tummy because he likes sleeping on his tummy. So you can see him moving around there. So now we just kind of monitor it. I look at the time. So right now it is 7.50. Um, if he's not asleep by eight o'clock, what I'll go in is I'll just go in, I'll pat him on the back and say, it's okay, baby. And then just keep doing that until he falls asleep. Yeah, this is the roughest part. This is the most difficult part because he's literally crying right now. So last night he did pretty well. He just slept straight. Yeah, tonight I think he was a little bit more amped up because we had the video camera, the lights were on for more of the time. Mm -hmm. so. We'll see, but he's actually trying. You guys can kind of see he's already laying his head down right now. He's not crying. So. We'll see, we'll see how long. He's actually doing okay. Not too bad. So it looks like he's asleep. Is he asleep? He's sleeping like a little angel. That's great. So it took him eight minutes to fall asleep. Um, like we were saying, he's still learning. So some nights it's really fast, some nights it's a little bit longer. Eight is probably about average, I would say. Yeah. So not too bad. Yeah, and there are days where you just put him down and just sleeps immediately. But today, took him a little bit longer. That's okay, he's still learning. But the really great thing now is that he's asleep for the night. I will go in about 10, 30, 11 and give him what's called a dream feed where I give him a little bit more milk just so he can sleep through the whole rest of the night. Um, but the wonderful part is that now we have our whole evening together completely free. We can spend time with one another. We can get chores done, video work done. Shoot whatever. videos like this. Like this, exactly. Without any disturbance. Mm -hmm. And it's just nice to have our own room to ourselves, our own space, and the boys can sleep by themselves in their room. So it's been, it's been really great for us for sleep, with sleep training. Yeah, and I'll be honest, it was really rough for me initially when we had Zayden for several weeks. It was rough. I struggled so much. I thought this was the worst ever thing anyone could do to their, to their child because it's like almost torture. You're know, just hearing them cry and scream themselves to sleep, right? And it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart so much because I love the boys. And I know now after watching the results, that I'm a believer. Like this works because there's so much benefit to it now. Zayden sleeps so well, Kyron sleeps so well. When I say really well, I mean that they know how to put themselves to sleep. And this is another lesson in an interracial marriage or relationship, right? Like we bring so many different things to the table. You just figure out what's the best thing for you and your family. And by no means we are saying that sleep training is the best. It's the best for us. And our family it may not be the best for you. And maybe co-sleeping is the best for you or some other sleep training method. And that's okay. There's no right or wrong here. You just find what's best for you and your family. Yeah, that's the best takeaway is what works for you and your family. And just figure that out and work together with your spouse to come up with a good solution together. Yep. I'm happy we chose this. It has worked out well for us. But thank you for watching, guys. I hope you got some value out of this video. Let us know what you think about sleep training. This Is this something that you would do or maybe you have already done it? Let us know down in the comment below. We want to hear from you. And don't forget to like this video and always subscribe to the channel. We hope to see you in the next one, guys. Bye. Bye.